over one, Vicky with the Toko Minorities, and Jolt told me that I should give the intro to this video, so hi. We are back after uh, winter break from university, <laughs> yes. and we're also back from a very hectic tail end to last semester. Kind of everything happened at once, and we decided that this was kind of our, not our lowest priority, but it... it we needed a small hiatus to We uh, needed a brief hiatus, and we wish we could have announced that, but things happened really quickly. We also had some issues with a certain someone kind of hating on all of our videos, <laughs> so we thought it was best to just call it call it pause for a little bit. However, we are back, and Jolt and I today are going to be make, constructing on camera an OU team that we've kind of theorized a little bit about, and then we are going to put it through its paces and see what happens. <laughs> Difficulties. So here is the team that we have structured. Um... Go ahead and start it off. All right. Yeah. Why didn't so, you take it away? So uh, we decided we wanted to start off with a pretty common late X Y core. Uh, we think it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty good now that Greninja has been banned. Potent. <laughs> Potent. Now that Greninja has been banned from Aorus OU. Hallelujah. Um. So we're going to start off with a Clef Fable. Oh, that's a Kel Fable. Fable. <laughs> that's a Kel Fable. Kill Fable. <laughs> Fable. A Slowbro. Actually, a Mega Slowbro. So scary. And a specially defensive Heatran. Um, so this core is really good uh, both defensively and kind of offensively um, because of its uh, impressive synergy. Um, Clefable is obviously a solid fairy type um, and has only two weaknesses in Poison and Steel, um, both of which are uh, handled quite nicely by Slowbro and Heatran. Um, so Clefable is going to be a bulky Calm Mind Sweeper, um, likely a Calm version instead of the um, old standard bold version. So, dude, um, cute charm is best ability. What are you doing? <laughs> You're right. We are going to go with Magic Guard here. Um, at least for now, we might change it to Unaware um, if it turns out that the team is going to be uh, potentially set up fodder. Um, for now, we'll have Magic Guard, and then we'll have Calm Mind. Uh, obviously, Moonblast, Soft Boiled is obvious. Flamethrower and uh, flamethrower for now. Although there is the potential for store power if we think it is necessary. Yeah. Um. So it's trying to tell us to do that standard defensive set, but um, I think we have no. some other options. No. We're gonna go with calm, and I actually have. I think I have it written down somewhere. Do you have a funky EV spread? Um. Yeah. I have. Okay, let him find his funky EV spread. It's not really funky. It's just the the standard Smogon one. Let me just pull that up real quick. Wait. We're giving credence to Smogon? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. We hate Smogon. <laughs> down with Smogon. They know what they're doing half the time. Half the time. The rest of the time you just go to Nintendo Plus to find good stuff. It's almost like we write for Nintendo Plus or something. Check us out over there. Nintendoplus.com. Here we go. 252 HP, 160 defense. Oop. But that's I apologize. Not, is that the one you used against me yesterday? Yeah. Ah, yeah. It's really good. Uh, it's, it's that one. It's that one. It's that one. 252 HP, say 160 defense. Yep. And the rest, of course, in, in Schroeder. Um, so that's that, and then we'll obviously move this down to a zero IV. For those of you that aren't familiar with that, um, basically what we're doing is we're ensuring that foul play um, does the least possible damage to Clefable, as well as minimizing confusion damage um, if this Clefable decided to be confused for some reason. So, all right. Throwback. <laughs> now on to Slowbro. Um, this is a Mega Slowbro, so we're doing uh, Slowbro Knight. Wait, is there not a way to do that with two specs? <laughs> Assault Vest Mega Slowbro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Regenerator, of course. Um, and we are going to be rolling with Calm Mind. Crowbro. Scald. Rest. Talk. This set is evil. <laughs> so, I actually have not used this particular set yet. Put those eight in special defense. They do not want to be. I don't think it makes that much of a difference, but hey, I'll listen to you. It, in my fiddlings with Bro, I think that it Sure. Personal. Um, Heatran. So this is going to be a specially defensive Heatran. For now, it'll be our Stealth Rock Lair. So we'll have Rocks. Stealth Rock Lock Plume, as per usual. Um, toxic to deal with annoying threats. And over here, we could do Protect. I we think could do Protect, taunt. because it makes Lop and it gives Lop in trouble. Um, we could also do Taunt for Club Fables if we think we're going to have trouble with opposing Club Fables. I would personally recommend using Taunt on this if we're not using Store Power on Club Fables. This is true. Um, so one or the other, I think we should do Taunt here. Taunt, because if we use Store Power to Fable, this team instantly becomes Bishar fodder. <laughs> like, in a big way. Well, Moonblast still hits Bishar, but... Um, I fire, have, I have it's better. quicker and faster. <laughs> yes, it does. So that's a thing, and then we'll go ahead and drop this to zero like we did on the others. Most of our team is going to have zero attack IVs. Now, is this the EV spread we want, or do we want to give a little speed um, to this Heatran? I think they're giving it eight speed. That's some great uh, Just against opposing Heatrans, if that's uh, what you're going for, but we don't have Earth Power, so it's not really necessary. Uh, we don't if really we are speed, going though. to add speed, we'll have to add a significant amount. 
So yeah. probably let's not for now. Let's leave it, leave it as it is. Alright, so okay. now, next on the docket is um, our offensive core, which is going to be Keldeo, Terrakian, Landorus, Terrian. So, let's start with Keldeo. I'll go ahead and put the corpses. Hey, they're not corpses. <laughs> they're people, too. Alright. So, we decided to go with the Double Swords of Justice core because, quite frankly, these are... This is one of the most potent physical and special attackers, respectively. Quite frankly, Keldeo is an amazing uh, mixed attacker as well. Um, we're going to be using a pretty standard choice spec set for Keldeo. So I'll let him build that up. And what this does is this just lets us punish anything. Um, it really lets us punish any of the physical walls that try and block the rest of our team. Um, see when the hidden power electric. It's up to you. I mean, do we see needing hidden power electric? I do so see a mining electric is mainly... Well, yeah, Gyarados and Slowbro are the ones to consider on this. Uh, we don't... Mm, I don't think Icy Wind is really necessary, considering we have several things to deal with the Lotties. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and throw Hidden Power Electric yeah. here. Um, it, it just handles most of what gives the rest of this team trouble, which is nice. Um, I don't recall the um, IV for attack here to maintain HP Electric and minimize the damage from Foul Play and Confusion, so I think I'll just leave it at 31. We'll leave it at 31. Now. This thing isn't taking Foul Play. Nothing that runs Foul Play can touch Keldeo. <laughs> this is very true. I mean, the only thing is Mandibuzz, and does Mandibuzz want to be taking Pumps or no, Scalds? No, no, not particularly. Okay. Right. We're going to be running Earth Plate Double Dance Landorus, Landorus um, because it's an absolute monster if you use it correctly. Um, knock off or Stone Age. Stone Age is better coverage. I didn't know. I don't run. I've never run this before. So yeah, it's Rock Polish and Swords Dance, which quickly gets it to two Dragon Dances, equivalents of speed and attack. Earthplate to boost its Earthquake to gastronomical levels. I mean, astronomical levels. I'm hungry. Um, other than that, it's pretty standard. And then, Terrakion, this is going to be a Choice Scarf variant for picking off the likes of Bishop, um, Slow, other Swords of Justice, and to a point for picking off kind of the um, the genies. The Stone Edge, Stone Edge is not appreciated by the genies. Uh, Quake, and Iron Head is a possibility. Uh, let's kind of take a look through all the possible moves here. Yeah, I think the two are Iron Head and Exes are only Iron Poison Head, Jab. Poison Jab, um, probably Poison Jab, actually. Let's get Cross types as well. Another option is we could have a fast uh, Toxic user here. Um, as a really combo or a fast Taunter. This is true. Um, the, what I'm thinking of though is Mega Latias, as that's obviously quite the threat. Nothing on our team really is capable of taking it down. We could run a fast Toxic here so that it will be worn down. Um, if you, by that token, Exus makes a lot more sense. I think. Um, Exus actually doesn't do a lot. Let's run a Calc on that real quick before yeah, we. Uh, we do start have this up. all sorts of fun stuff open. The Calc and I don't actually know. Latias. 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 Mega Latias. Mega Latias is the threat here. Block on Calc. I thought Mega. I know, but uh, let's just see what Exes HP are just regular. Ha! Okay, so Exes are, this is, uh, we want Scarf, Jung, probably Jolly. Scarf, I typically run Adamant personally, but I'm trying to think. 315 Adamant would still get outsped by Jolly, Charizard X at plus one. I think That's true, and we need this thing for Charizard yeah. X, so we should go Jolly. It's a two co, and it's impressive damage. It's good damage. Um, let's take a look. But that's zero HP investment. Yeah. So I do actually. I'm agree going with the to. Toxic. Uh, you agree with the Golem Toxic? I'm I think going I do to for now. just double check the base stat of Mega Latias um, for defense and HP. Obviously, HP is the same. Uh, we have a 120 uh, yeah. base defense. Toxic. Toxic. <laughs> toxic. I just want to check this for the future. Um, yeah, we are going to mini Toxic on this. Ooh. So let's go ahead and pull that back up and slap Toxic on this thing. Um, I have been. Where does it pull the Toxic from? Uh, we don't question these things. Oh, we no, we are questioning these things. <laughs> All right, so Rakion, where do you keep it? All right, so that's the team we're going to be flying with for this session. Uh, yep. Everything looks good. Yep. Save it up. Should we dive in and <laughs> save it first? Oh, Nelly. All right. Who's Nelly? I don't know. Are you cheating on me? Maybe. You're cheating on me. Back up the team. I'm ah. backing it up. We're backing up. Backing up. Backing, backing up. up. Backing up. That's copyright material. We can't it's do not that. copyright it's material. It's not copyright material. We're good. Let's find the battle. Let's find the battle. Find the battle. Right. You should definitely close the chat. Let's get a moment. Bye, chat. Yeah. All right. Cool. You should close that too. Let's get a moment. Bye, chat. Back up. All right. Oh, Nelly. 
Um, so we're gonna slash rank this guy real quick. Yeah. We are on a slightly lower ranked account. We're on my typical test account, but that's a... Um, alright. We easy. should be just fine. Right, we're fine. Don't say easy. <laughs> that will end very badly. Right, we're probably gonna so get through one or two battles. Team preview yeah. here. I'm seeing a Mega Beedrill, obviously. Um, I, th I think that that's a standard Beedrill. I think that's a choice standard Beedrill. You might be right. But uh, that'll almost certainly be his lead, so our best lead is going to... Uh, it's going to be the Landers T, yeah. as that is our I best. I mean, Landers dismantles his team. Landers um, absolutely it actually just does, demolishes his team. Let's not set up on turn one. Oh, no, no, um, no. He's likely going to want to U-turn into Gorgeist on turn one, um, so we'll probably need to play accordingly there. Yeah. But let's go ahead and go Landers. Yeah. As our lead. Um, as far as win conditions are concerned, Caldeo is going to be very good in this game. Um, it won't be able to just stand in battle and sweep because he does have Town Flame and Tentacruel for that matter. But, and Gorgeist. Um, and Gorgeist, <laughs> Gorgeist is hard wall. This is true. So that's an interesting lead play. Um, that's very, very obviously T Spikes. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is just begging for a quake. But uh, also. I think Quake is the play. He'll almost certainly go Gorgeist, but. Um, I think it's safe to just... Yeah, this is a point in time where a Quake would be completely safe. I mean, a U-turn, if we had it, would probably be the I the absolute ideal. Yeah. But there's nothing to stop us from Quaking. And, and if, if he, he does go Gorgeist, go just, just Clef. Clefable. Clefable's an easy switch. And Clefable's so. actually a huge, huge player in this Watch game. Watch this be the first ever Choice Scarf Tentacle. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it in Yu Yu. And all right, so and I'll do an take easy care lead. Of. Easiest game of my <laughs> life. So here we're going to be um, hoping that he's expecting our Landorus is Choice Scarfed. Um, that's kind of the idea behind this Earthblade set. It's uh, it's a lure in a way, in that you can trick your opponent into thinking that you're one item, and then you can turn around yeah. and get. A you cheap can basically KO. trick either Choice Scarf or Choice Band. I've run Choice Band Landorus to. That's a forfeit. That's a forfeit. So uh, one turn, I think we won. <laughs> one turn down, and that's a victory. And we are now up to that's fourteen a vic two. Sorry. <laughs> Let's find another battle. Let's. All right, here we are. We got a battle against Jirge Boy. Jirge Boy. And it's another um, uh, funny looking team. Let's slash rank this big boy. J Y R G E Boy. Oh. 1389. He plays a lot. He, yeah. <laughs> wow. He, he does indeed. Um, okay, so we have to be careful about Doug Trio, but he trans the only thing that can really. Um, mm, Rakian. Be harmed by that. Rakian's gonna outspeed and KO anyway. Um, I don't think. I think it's 377 speed. But we are Choice Scarf. Still at 377 speed. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Anyway. Choice, choice Scarf <laughs> Doctor is actually a thing, and it's quite So, annoying. at this point in the ladder, most people actually put their leads here on the uh, in the front of their party, so I'm actually mm -hmm. anticipating Star Raptor as being his lead. It also makes sense, although the secondary option is the Doug Trio. His whole team gets shut down by a Landorus team lead, though. Um, um, Stami is really the only thing that doesn't mind, so I think that it's... There's also best. the potential that he'll lead with Doug Trio to trap instead of stealth drop, etc. But we are going to lead yeah. Landorus team. However, Landorus is immune to trapping, so we can just punish. Let him set up his rocks, take him down to his presumable focus sap. Mm -hmm. Trap him. Okay. You know the thing that we predicted? <laughs> nope. Well, um, so, so this, this is not really a threat for Clefable, so we could just go straight there. Um, the only true threat here is if he is a curse variant, uh, which I actually ran into a couple so days annoying. ago. So annoying. gave me a lot of trouble. But yeah, I, he trying and Clef both deal with this quite nicely. Uh, this is true. Um, I think Clefable Clef is, is the primary option there, because Clef also gives his whole team just yeah. all sorts Certainly. of trouble. Um, he really doesn't have any switch-ins for Clefable either, so we if can... If he uh, can get Lucario in, we have to get out, but that's about the size of it. I don't even know on that, because we can uh, we can set up a Calm Mind, and the worst he can do is Bullet Punch it. Well, we're right. not physically defensive. We have some physical, but not a lot. Mm, I think we have enough to take Bullet Punch, dude. Pretty pretty handily. Uh, that's very true, and it can't take the Flamethrower. So we should just we should really just throw out a Calm Mind here. I mean, the thing is, do we want to set up this early? Because there are going to be many opportunities to set up on this Trevenant later on, I think. It might be more ideal to throw out a Moon Blast here to hit whatever he wants to switch in to kind of gauge how he wants to play uh, against Clefable. In the I think either really work here because we don't know how aggressively he wants to play, and this would be a good place to test. And free damage is free damage, so we may as well go for a Moon Blast here. Blast. The next turn, depending on if he, if he stays in, we need to start Calm Minding. Mm. Um, most certainly, yeah. But uh, he does just go straight to Star Raptor, which is happily what, what I was expecting, uh, switching into a heavy physical hitter. Um, he does not take that well at all, which is very nice. Um, this is a free switch into Slowbro. 
Um, the worst he can do here is you turn into Trevenant, and from there we can go straight into Clefable Stone. And get that um, regenerated to get all of that back Indeed, off. so we're going straight into Slowbro here. He cannot touch it. Yeah, quite frankly, Slowbro off to a point. It's just the game. Oh, that crit was The alternative, huge. of course, is that he hexes us. Um, so we're going to have to... Uh, I would say double into Lendor. Man, that's, that's tough. That's obviously Bandit, is the one thing. That's very obviously. That's really tough. Mm. Does he try and do much against his team? Rocks is all. Rocks is all, and the thing that is vulnerable to Rocks is gone now. I would be tempted to say, go Heatran, let him kill himself, but then he might bring in the trio and peg us. Yeah, Heatran dies if we go in here. Like, that's, yeah. that's what's going to happen. Um, we could go Landers, but as that is... It's not really a win condition in this game. It's not, it, it gets a lot of really nice damage, but it's not a win condition. I think we can go there. I think there, Landers is the better play. Let him kill himself, and basically we just sit there and have priority over him. So yeah, go for it. All right. That sucks, though. That really does suck. I mean, we get to, we get a large amount of it back with Regenerate. I mean, two cycles of Regenerate, and we're back to very... Holy God. So that was Adamant Band, I think. Adamant um, Reckless Band, which you don't see. It's just not. <laughs> This is that part of the ladder. <laughs> so. It's not a particularly feasible set in real play, but we're not playing with the big boy. So you see, so he doesn't fear the choice scarf, which is really unfortunate here, because um, we could do some significant damage. Yeah, I think this would be a time for Heatran or potentially Clef. Um, Heatran is definitely the better first switch in, but we need to double out immediately, most likely. Yeah. For the Focus Blast. Yeah, which... for, the, for the Focus Blast or Dove Trio. So really we can double into Slowbro on the following turn and be in good shape. Yeah. So I think that's the best play here. Yep. So it is Mega and it now has... Oh my god, it's that it's one. It's a Barrier Alakazam. Which is not good for us. Uh, the good news is that we can Taunt it and we can Toxic it and it is vulnerable to both of those things. Because it no longer has Magic God. I do think Toxic is the best play. I agree with you there, good buddy. The sound. It, it looks like it's going to be one of those nuisances. Um, he might just go Doug Trio here. Even then, the Toxic is very, very nice, and we can... He just goes oh for combo. God, so. he's the double setup kind. It's fine. So we get the Toxic, that's, that's he's poisoned. Okay. And now we can go... We need to taunt. Yeah, pretty much. We need to taunt, or he might just... He wouldn't double into Doug Trio. He wouldn't double into Doug Not Trio now. with this much setup. This, that thing doesn't get the Tom Pass, and there's no way he can send it anyway. Okay, he just goes for another calm line, so this is good. We can get off the taunt. And quite frankly, I think we can... Can we take it? Can we take the focus blast? Um, no. <laughs> not now. But we would uh, die to focus blast, too. Right. Um, it might not be a bad time to sack like this. It doesn't really do much to Especially after taking that much damage, it's it's as good as dead. And we will be able to revenge kill with Terrakion on the following turn. Yeah. So I think we want to sack Landorus Also, here. an option would be Landorus into Bro. Get some HP back. Um, but it's risky. It's yeah, way too risky. Sure. He'll just kill us here though because he's top it. Um, so he just goes for the psychic. Um, and with toxic damage is down to 64%, which should be an easy KO for Terrakion. I mean Quake. Al although he mm -hmm, he does have that barrier up though. Um, okay, 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 okay. So if he goes for psychic on that turn, um, that tells me that he doesn't have focus points. Why? Because he didn't go for it Heatran. <laughs> True. So this is the part where we go back into Heatran, or we go into this is the one of the few times that I do expound the virtues of a oh. wet cloth. I think it might not hurt to go slow bro and then into heat train. I agree with that. Get some HP back. Yep. Told you. <laughs> you said I could do it, then you said don't do it. But now it's a good time. You said I could now do it. it's safe now, though, because he's talking that he can't do it. Uh, he can do plenty. He can do... <laughs> he can do plenty. Um, but yeah, the odds of Focus Blast here are low, although not non-existent. It's fine. We're still going to win this game with Kofu. Um, he does not have any. Um, he makes the interesting play in going into Trevenant here, Trevenant. Which actually works out really well for us because we can just fire off a Lava Plume, or we can predict the switch and into Dug Trio. Um, I think it might be better to go Clef here. Yeah, I'm not disagreeing with you that. I think that Clef is... Clef is a huge win condition right now. Yeah. He just goes cool. for the Leech Seed, which, which is actually nothing. perfect. Because um, now, he doesn't have Star Raptor anymore. He doesn't have anything that can just cleanly peg us. So now would be a good time for a Moonblast, for a Flamethrower. I mean, both I think are incredibly powerful against this team. Let's Moonblast, in case he goes to Flamethrower. Oh, I thought you meant versus 
You mean just, just online? Yeah. It's because Kazam, which this is, is perfect, doesn't want to take that. Oh, the special attack drop is that could not have been better. Huge. Um, did, why did he not take? Why did he not take Toxic? Toxic. He magic traced guard. Magic Guard. <laughs> he's got Magic Guard back, so he's a typical. If he has recovered, <laughs> though, we're gonna have to start combining. Yeah, I. Ooh. Barrier. Mm. That set gets walled so hard by Doc types, and his whole team. We're gonna gets, go ahead and Moonblast here. Yeah, it's really the play, and I mean, with him down by one, he has to recover. He has to recover if he has it. If he has it. But actually, calm mind, he would survive the next hit. Um, yeah. He would. He does have yeah, recover. He does have recover, that's annoying. So we need to start boosting, boosting. Do we want to start boosting, or do we want to. Mm, revenge with Rakian? This is. What the heck is this? It's gonna. He's gonna recover this go. We outspeed and I believe kill with Quake. I think still pretty frail. Yeah. Or we can start calm minding. Getting in, getting into a calm mind war with this thing though. Probably not. Good. It's not advisable, but I'm... it doesn't have side shock though, so like, I don't know. That's the one thing, is it can't do much to us in return. Mm -hmm. Which is nice, so calm mind war is feasible. However, Terrakian is still So good. okay, one thing to consider, his only attacking move is psychic. So we could calm mind up with slow bro. Um, let's calm mind here first. Yeah, let's tr let's see what he's gonna do. I want to see his playstyle because I think he's gonna recover again. And if he does that, after a calm mind, we can just rocket him with moon blocks. Yeah, because his special attack can keep dropping, which is yep. very valuable. He just goes for the calm mind, the same turn we do. Yeah. Okay, so I think we need to rock him like a hurricane. Rock him? What do you mean by that? I mean, lost him. Um, that is probably ideal. So let's go ahead. And we want to. We want to get that special attack drop if we can. And Moonblast does that like half the time for some reason. Yeah. Um, but also, just we can't let him keep calm minding. We need to apply as much pressure as possible in the situation. So we'll do that. That's beautiful. Okay. So what we can do, we could make a risky switch into Terrakion. Yeah. I mean, he has to recover. If he dies if he doesn't recover. We go Terrakion and then we Quake. Yeah. And there is thingy taken care of. That's an interesting Alakazam set. It is. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. So now we can just give him a quake and launch. Oh, I think we have the stone edge. It's really frail. I mean, right, okay, this is a time where we calc because that's potentially stone edge is a necessary risk. We don't have much time. Um, yeah, Mega Alakazam. Um, he's a. Yeah, we're gonna have to just go go back to the showdown. All right, here comes the miss. Stone miss. Don't fail us now against <laughs> this set. <laughs> this set's not even good. It's just annoying. I mean, we, we might be able to take a second. Like, it'd be really close. Okay, it's fine. Dead. All right. So dead. we dodge a bullet there, um, but now he is going to be able to go into Lucario and get up a sword stance if he does have that. Or Doug Trio and get a uh, revenge kill. I would actually prefer he goes Doug Trio here. Oh, likewise. But, Terrakion's um, not doing a whole lot of anything else that other things don't cover quite nicely. The yet. good news is we do have Slowbro, which will take hits from Lucario for days. Oh, yeah. Uh, if it has Crunch, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Again, it's physically defensive to Hell and Back. Yeah. But um, he does just go Lucario here, so we could go Keldeo. We definitely could. Because Keldeo, yeah, Keldeo is not doing much against his team otherwise, so let's go ahead and go Keldeo here. Yeah. Um, we can definitely take the close combat, but not in conjunction with extreme speed. I do expect the Swords Dance here, though. Yeah. Um, okay, so that worked out well. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I believe the Secret Sword is our better play. Even if he goes Terrakion, we, or uh, Trevenant, rather, we can go right into Clefable with no yeah. problem, so... Um, let's go ahead and Secret Sword. Yeah, basically we're going through the same cycle again and again and again. The difference is he's losing stuff, we're not. Yeah. So it's... It's acceptable. Okay, okay good. So he makes the smart play and goes into Trevenant. The old now, play. Yeah, but now we get the free switch into Clefable, and now he really has nothing. Um, if he yeah. doesn't pull a double here, we I'm pretty confident the game is over in our favor. Yeah. Um, Dr. Trio applies a little bit of pressure, but not a lot. So he stays in. We're going to calm mind this turn, soft bolt next turn. Yeah. It's basically what um, we. Do. Yeah. I mean, if he goes Lucario, we have to hit it immediately because if it gets up a sword dance, we are in some trouble. Yep. This is this is if true. If it gets up a sword dance, bullet punch will pummel. Oh hi Lucario. He goes straight into Lucario here. Okay. Bullet punch hits hard. Sword dance is one of the two is the play. We survive either. We kind of just have to go for a flamethrower. Mm -hmm. Flamethrower is the play. Oh. And I mean, it, I'm anticipating Life Orb 
especially on a team without. Uh, well, he does have rapid spin on Starmie. Um, he does just go for Why close combat. Earth so he for close well, combat. he predicted the Keldeo that time, but uh, he has Life Orb, so he will go down to this flamethrower. Um, and that's pretty much going to be the game, because he, he doesn't have anything for Clefable now. Eh, he might have an interesting Stami set. If it's a Banded Dugtrio, he still has a chance. Um, that's the only thing that would be able to remove Clefable at this point. Um, and if he has a Banded Dugtrio, then we will be able to set up on him with... Hey, uh, you know what that looks like to me? It's, that's a Banded Dugtrio. Dug <laughs> <laughs> Moonblast! Um, Moonblast! Is Moonblast a player or should we soft blow? Um, well, if it's Banded, we just go down. Yes, I think soft blow is a player. He might... Mm, I don't know what he'll do. Does he get poison thing? That is... Yeah, Living! It's it's over, guys. Living! Um, okay, so yeah, we take two, so we can just peg We're him. just gonna calm mind here. I would've gone, I would've gone for the peg, because now plus everything... Plus two. Plus two's guaranteed win. So we might as well just... Plus one's a more or less guaranteed win. Yeah. More or less. In he forfeits there, so... Uh, that was, it was a good game, I guess. That it was, was a decent a, match. That was an annoying set, but let's go yeah. ahead and grab one more battle. I think we should probably cut this session here, because we've been recording for like half an hour. That was a very, very long match. Wow. That was a long match. Okay, well... Um, so we're gonna cut that here, and we're gonna be back with a new one immediately, so there will be a second episode of this little series, because I don't know about you, but I like this team. I like this team This right team's now. fun. Um, we're at a part of the ladder where we can really show off our individual styles and have a good conversation about it. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. We're sorry about the hiatus, and we're, we're really glad to be back, uh, back together, back making videos, and we will be coming at you with more content, uh, very, very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is Token Minorities signing off. We haven't done this in so long, I know, but... Right? Wow, Buffett! <laughs> Bye, guys! Bye guys.